hey, uh, I'd like to record an example how to annotate PDF files in LogSeq. So <clears throat> let's say I want to annotate and create a text representation of the PDF that I scanned from my previous notes. And here is a PDF, it's called Mobile UX for Developers. So let's first go to the journal view and create new page that will create like course mobile UX for developers. So good enough, we have a page. So we click there. Inside of this new page, we can so here is the PDF that I have in, in, in my file system. So I'll just drag it here and it will be automatically uploaded into uh, into LogSeq. So you can have it and you see it like PDF. So the next thing is I can click on this PDF and it open up in a left side of the window. So on the left side you can see the PDF, on the right side you can see the the page that we just created. So that's essentially what it takes to start working. So we, we have already course mobile UX for developers and then we have like some principles. You see like UX it's not UI. Let's say there is principles and we say like UX not equals UI. Uh, and we can say UX UX is everything uh, that affects the user and UI is only the visible part part. So we can we can just do screenshot here and we can insert it here because it seems like a picture is useful and we cannot convert it to text very easily. And then we can go back to the second principle here, use low resolution wireframing to design application flow first. By the way, it's a very good course from Udacity, I really recommend it. And we can set like second principle, use low resolution wireframing to design application flows first. Cool. And there is also text here. It will say like only after that create the detailed design. So, and we can start getting this little pieces of text and, and, and start adding to the LogSeq. So the result in LogSeq will be formatted as uh, Markdown and you can open it as a file and see like open it directory and you can see this is a Markdown file and I can open with Sublime Text and you see like everything we created is essentially marked down inside and we can use it in other program like obsidian or rome or whatever we want to in my case i i, I don't care really um, i'm happy that markdown is an open format but what i want to do is to just to have all my notes in log seek and this is how i go like I'll, I'll finish this page and we will wrap up the video and say like i can and I say, if you start here, you will optimize locally instead of optimizing globally. And, and it's like, and there is this cryptic picture that I can Imagine it says that like you you want to optimize the whole app first first and only then particular particular 
form. Okay, I'm done with this page. So I captured everything I wanted and it's a nice text format. I still have PDF if I want to look, 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 look up something and look at the pictures and look at the things in more visual way. I can still go back to the PDF, but you know, uh, the text is much more searchable. I can later even to, um, I can even the, the create tags here. So like, like UX seems like an interesting uh, and UI, right? And here we can say UX is here. And I can use links to mark important parts of the page. And here we go. So I can close this for now and I go to my journal. So, and what's interesting now I have a lot of pages. I have UX page, UI page, because I created this as a terms in, in my text. I can search for them. I can go to UI and see like, oh, I talk about UI in this mobile course for developers. And I can see the hand drawn diagram still because I just took a screenshot and inserted it as a part of the uh, kind of as a part of this structural data. So one clarification here, how to annotate let me delete this reference. So how to add pictures. Actually, you don't have to do the screenshot. You can do it within LogSeq. You can do block references into parts of the PDF. And this feature, I think, is really, really cool. You don't have to copy multiple copies of your image. You can just reference parts of the PDF. I think it's amazing. So the, the way we do it, we want to insert this picture that I drew. And it's about... UI, backend, UX, how do they correspond to each other? So what I do, I use this tool that's called Area Highlight, and I can just hold the Command button and highlight this part of the picture, and then I choose the color. And let's say I'm using the green color up here. So then I can right-click and click Copy Reference. So now I have a reference in my clipboard. Then I go where I want to insert this diagram and press Command V. And it insert this no strange number. And you, you, you think what it is. So we need to navigate out of this number. And you see, this number actually is a reference to this particular region that I highlighted in the PDF. So I don't have to copy paste random screenshots it's all part of this PDF and it looks really nice. So that's the addition. Thank you.